This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. What's wrong? You sure you're all right, Kane? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. The ship didn't look that that big. It's we require locked. a key in order to proceed. Let us fumble about and see if we cannot find one. Alright. Oh! There's a ghost. Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. Oh, I thought it was like a grown woman. Oh, goodness. There we go. Hmm? There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, what foolishness. Aww. I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. There we go. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. Oh, hopefully we found out in the hold. It looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? What's this? An apple? It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. <laughs> perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Oh, goodness, what a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. Whoa. What was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. Let's go. The music just stopped. I don't want to get jump scared. It looked like someone was behind me. That was this my weapon. It's been knocked over. And there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. There's footprints. Yup. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Alright. Oh, they're going upstairs. Let's see what's down here first. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. I wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port, all in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? We have no time to stand up. Okay. Ah, I thought we'd be able to actually read some. Okay, that continues. Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. <laughs> Hang on. I think I can move these. Can 
to go around it? Okay. It appears to be caught in a crack in the floor. It would not do to have the ground beneath our feet come undone. So let's give up on pushing the thing. Hopefully if I go here, I can go around. Oh, yep, I sure enough can, all right. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. <sighs> by my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Mm. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. Oh, they started doing that crap again. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. Mm. This is remember, this is in the future, so it's wow, like history repeated itself. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. <laughs> Give it a nudge or stand around and do nothing. Let me ho let's hold off. What's this? Oh, money. Okay. That white vase is a Hidden room. How delightful. There we go. Now we can get on the other side. I hope. I thought it was a skeleton right there. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. Hmm. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. Here we go. Passageway key. It must have been. Be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. If I went to that door, it would have been like, oh, it's locked. The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. Someone playing an instrument very badly. Would it not be wise to explore the rooms on the floor above us? I want to explore, sir. It seems this door will not open. Dang it. Kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Oh. <laughs> Let's go in there and see what's up because that is that sounds atrocious. Huh? Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. Oh. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. <laughs> I thought it was like some robot. I'm like, what? 
This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah. And the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? Okay, I was... Uh, oh, uh, damn. What the hell is this smell? Oh. Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? I could have sworn it was going to come across a key. That's why I didn't go to that door at first. Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? <laughs> Let's keep searching. Uh oh. Uh, Vice? I think the floor is. Great. Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. It might be dead bodies. A lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Uh-oh. It is incredibly dark. Oh my gosh. I think those are bodies. How, how do I get back up? Have you still not found the lantern? We have no alternative oh. but to scour the ground for it. I found it. Vice, that's it. We found the lantern. Those are bodies. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh no. Oh man. Oh dear. Yep. Look at the bodies. I thought that's what those silhouettes look like. They are all people from town. And I fear the missing ferryman. Whoa. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he? Why did everyone have to? God damn it. <sighs> Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. God dang, man. That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. Oh, yeah, we finishing this one up. Oh, you guys. Hey there, you two. Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kane? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. Alright. See what's in here real quick. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them. But the penmanship is so poor, I cannot make heads nor tails of it. <laughs> yeah, that's it in here. Alright, get ready for a fight. Yup, save point. Let's get it. This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. Let's go. Um... It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad, this is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. Uh, 
There. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh. Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? Huh? So, sorry. Sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. So Stay the hell away from her! She isn't... Uh-oh. something out you just find a way to get the hell out of here the two of them will be fine but you and I must withdraw the ship is collapsing we must leave at once very much aware of that thanks let's go Shit! Damn, they're in the way Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Looks like we can get out through that hole up there. Jump. Okay. <laughs> Where's the postman at? Oh wow. You want a big boss fight right on top of the ship. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. I couldn't. Oh. What on earth? This is bigger than that last one we... He got teeth. Oh, goodness. Let's go ahead and change uh, lances, please. Thank you. Why isn't this shade being hurt by the sun? That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once. Oh. I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain vigilant. Oh, shoot. God dang.
I thought I said. Oh! When could I hit those? Ouch. Come on. Come on, Lances. Where's it coming from? Alright, I might need to change to the fist. I just have to get close. Um hand. the tentacles with faces on them. Yeah, the sword is like actually Oh. There we go. They don't stop now. Focus on the next one. Oh, crap. This going to pay for what it did to those people. The town will be in grave danger should we leave this creature be. We must end it here and now. Come here, I got love. Slammed again. Whoa, we did two of them. All right, come on down here. Keep dodging too early. Ah, uh, that was my no. <laughs> I'm coming up on my last one now. Actually, let me see.
hands are ready. Let's go. Come on down here, girl. Ba -ba -ba Boom. There you go. God dang. There we go. Now is our chance. Attack with all that you have. That was a good combo. <laughs> Hands. Mm. Ooh, wow. Did we get it? <sighs> nope. I'm gonna take a little bit more than that. Oh hell, that thing's huge. What's she say? Oh my gosh. What next? Think it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Here it comes. Dodge! The heck? Is this thing turning its body into spears and shooting them at us? I can't believe such a huge shade even exists. Wow, 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 wow. Find a pattern, find a pattern. That thing ain't normal, so stay smart unless you want to get dead. This thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. There's another face. Alright, I'm taking my spear. Yeah. Alright, which way is coming now? The number of spears flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues. To you, isn't he? Oh, this is here and now. Shrink. Boss fights or something else. You don't have to get them down. To, oh man, it just—it's like no. Right back. Is this thing immortal? Okay. How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm—I'm I'm really scared, guys. We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it. Okay. Um. I guess I gotta keep doing this, huh? Can I dodge it? I hope that wasn't game over.
Wow. That's scripted. Okay. I think we're in trouble. My body won't. Damn it. Fuck. How? Stop. Oh, no. What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! of its magic. Aim for the head. <laughs> what to say? Come on. Come on. Get up there. We can never be together. You disgust me! I just want to press L1. L1 isn't my button. <laughs> Getting another piece of that thing. Net. What are you doing with that thing, man? <laughs> okay. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. Mm. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Yeah. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Wait, it's been a week. You didn't tell her yet? Oh, there she go. Hey, did you find my husband? Wow. Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he all right? Please tell me he's all right. Come on, say something already. <sighs> Being honest on this playthrough. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No. It can't be true. That big idiot, always carrying his bag around, thinking about me all the time. 
Oh God, this can't be happening. <laughs> it saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so, lad. You did the best you were able. Hey, man. We oh. got these high, happy moments, and then all of a sudden, crash, burn. Someone gets killed again. I'm still not used to it. That is sour. <laughs> oh. Hey, Kane. Yeah? When you were threatening that shade on the beach the other day, how did you know it was trying to protect the postman? Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> All right. I was wondering how she knew that. Hmm. Where the shade's at? I guess this is the calm time. We can just go on a boat. Let's see. Do we have a new new trophy? This is the girl who was on the wrecked ship. Why? This is strange. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you know what? The top shelf. We saw this shade in the lost shrine. What's it doing here? I have long ceased trying to puzzle out this room. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, one we got four more bosses to go. I didn't see it last time. I I I actually lost like I lost my place on that, on that shelf. Alright, we gotta tell her everything. Shades on the coast, the ferryman dead. You've had quite the rough trip. That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found <laughs> the whole thing quite amusing. Epic quarrels. He loved her though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still. You made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so please keep trying, okay? I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier, and I noticed you had some mail. You might want to check it out. Oh. Thanks. I'll do that. I know exactly who it is. Oh, oh. one last thing. Mm-hmm. Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. Yeah. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. I figured as much. Even without those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. Whew. That was quite the event right there. Alright, where's that taking us? Oh, it's back at the ferry. Let me um let me check my mail real quick. Oh, wait, is it taking me to my mailbox? It is. Oh, it is, never mind. Oh no, it's right there. Actually, let me save it for. Wrong button.
Oh. <laughs> As per rule 25,656, please consider this your official notice that the king of Assad has chosen to enter into the ceremony of matrimony. Oh, he's getting married? Please lodge all objectives and or congratulations through the official channels stated in Rule 38,585. Sincerely, the Vassar Royal Office of Marriage and, yep, <laughs> and other legally binding contracts and concerns. P.S. Hey, gu hey guys, it's me. Oh, shoot, he probably, yeah, he's older now too. Um, It's me, the King of Facade. Sorry, this is all formal and stuff. Listen, I'm getting married, and I really want you to come. So get over here. <laughs> the king is getting married. Wow. Does this old book good to see a boy become a man? Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king. All right. Let's go to Facade. All right. We're going to do that. Let me. Did I get anything? Ah. Shrimp capsule and money. Ah. Uh. What's that? Oh, there go the money. I feel confident the child still lives. Of course she does. Hmm. I figured it was something right there. You could have a little conversation about her. All right. Let's go visit the king next time we get on. And I'm serious. I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to this so I can finish this up. So I'm sure everyone else has. And there's probably way more that I have to do after this. So have a good night, y'all. See y'all later. Um, please continue to take care of each, uh, take care of each other. And have a good one. Find a mouse. There you go. All right. Peace out. Blessings and all that other stuff.